Well, as promised, I'm going to take the Ram Rebel, the 2019 Ram Rebel, off-roading today. Rear locker help in there. That's why they're there. mud out here today making the trail pretty interesting we have the Wildcat Mountain. those of you who saw my other uh, video with the Rubicon going up that one obstacle like much on video but it's a little more hairy than you think video never does anything justice I am not going to attempt to take this up that same obstacle it's too wide it won't fit and this is Wildcat Mountain the overlook of the entire park is from here we got excellent views
All right, now that we've made it to the top of Wildcat Mountain, which is right here. Now, question is where to go now. Um, at the main office, they told me probably no more than a two diamond trail would be good for this truck. As you can see, there's uh, plenty of trails that are much harder that would be more suitable for a short well wheelbase uh, 4x4 such as a Jeep with probably a uh, little bit of a lift on it at least and locking differential but none nonetheless we are out here enjoying a day out on the trails uh, with this stock um, 2019 Ram Rebel um, it's pretty amazing that we can even be out here in this vehicle fully stocked um, it really says something towards its uh, off-road prowess. Um, sure, are there better uh, trucks out there for this job? Yeah, definitely. Uh, the Power Wagon or a Ford Raptor would probably perform a little bit better, if maybe about the same, but a little bit better, but um, uh, the Power Wagon especially. But um, here we are. So um, I'm thinking what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back. These red uh, lines are the main park roads. Going to go back up this way to North Pole, which it says is a two um, right there. And go across the top there. There's a couple off camber spots, but there's bypasses. Um, this is an area where I had a previous video of my power wagon back when I had it up, I believe, in this. It could be this area. Uh, very steep very slippery that day and everyone was saying oh my my Honda Civic could drive right up that um, no it couldn't have not what not if you saw it in person but um, that's what is up here and then come back on this north spur which is a number two as well and maybe explore a little bit out here here's the uh, the actual falls actually no it's um, where is that? It's somewhere out, out in this general area. The actual falls, I think, that the park is named after. It's a waterfall. Small waterfall, but there, and it's hidden nonetheless. Hence the name, Hidden Falls. So, uh, and uh, we'll take off. side of the park it's kind of nice up here actually here's the fence on the left and that's some other property to the left of that here's a sign that says we are at North Pole chugging along the fence line
know this is the falls the hidden falls well actually no I think it's a different location we'll go up the trail and find it but uh, I think this is Royal Gorge I could totally be wrong on these I'm sure somebody will chime in who knows this park better than I do <laughs> and please do but uh, it is nice little pool of muddy water here but it's nice to be outside of civilization sometimes Okay, okay, that's my bad. This is Royal Gorge. Not where I was back there. Well, I was gonna try to get to the falls. Um, it is a level three trail, which they suggested uh, probably shouldn't take the rubble on. And you can see right here, there's a pretty big dip into that. I'm sure this could make it, but just not ready to any uh, body damage or anything like that at this time but uh, back there is a beautiful uh, waterfall it's the, the I guess it's the Hidden Falls of Hidden Falls Adventure Park I have a we made it there in the the Rubicon before pretty cool but anyway I think we're gonna head back and uh, air the tires up head back to town it's been a fun day a little bit of adventure and great just to be out out in the wilderness it's pretty tight back in here too this is where size kind of hinders uh, a truck or any trucks ability to go off-road but it just depends on the type of trails you're trying to do and the type of terrain you're in as soon as I say that I spoke too soon pretty tight area here board of different vehicles. Well folks, that's pretty much going to wrap it up for my 2019 Ram Rebel off-road review. Hope you enjoyed it as much as I did making it. Um, I think the question's been answered. Is the 2019 Ram Rebel off-road capable? And I think we've proven that today. It can be taken off-road and uh, fairly fairly decently off-roaded. Is it the best rock crawler there is out there? By no means. Uh, the long wheelbase will hinder you up on, on certain obstacles, but um, it is armored up. It is uh, well-equipped to take you on some pretty moderate trails and had a lot of fun with it today. Thanks for watching, and uh, if you like this video, like and subscribe. And one more thing, one of the, my favorite features about this truck is it's, it's uh, the fact that it honks at you when you air the tires up to the recommended tire pressure. Um, as you can see here, air down, 
still in the upper 20s up front and low 20s in the rear. Um, fronts are supposed to be at 55 PSI and the rear 45. And so that's what will happen now. Here at uh, Hidden Falls, you have the air, free air station that comes with using the park. And we'll just start to air up here and um, it should honk at us when it's uh, reached the, the recommended uh, factory tire pressure setting. It's just like when you go to the doctor and you tell them you're sick and then you show up and you're fine. Hmm. Whoa! We're up to 60 PSI. Woo! I think it has to be running. Which, let's try that real quick. And I'm going to have to turn the compressor on. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this thing has to be running in order for that feature to work. Now that has five pounds too much air, see if it'll work on the rear tire. Cue the Jeopardy music. Actually, it doesn't take that long to air up. Not with 18-inch uh, rims on your 33s. 275, 70, 18, not 16 like I said in the other video. I apologize about that. And there you have it. A little over 46, but then it... Tends to cool back down, go back down a little bit after you've aired it up. So anyway, not so ordinary car guy here at uh, Hidden Falls. We'll catch you next time. It's like, hey, you're not done airing up. <laughs> the rears had a little bit more air to put in since they were at lower tire pressure than the fronts probably why it took longer to air those up and the air compressor tank could be getting low on air they have a little timer that you uh, need to turn on for a certain length of time so the air pump will run that way it's just not running all the time and there we go ready to hit the road back up now ready to hit the highway can't pull out like that in a Jeep Wrangler at least not a stock one <laughs> what's so awesome is after hitting the trails and doing all that harsh work, <laughs> as some people say, uh, you can just ride home in comfort in the Ram Rebel. Super nice ride. Still got that power.